I'm Amy Carroll. Sisters, can we tell the truth about something? Satan, he is a liar and a sneaky cheat. The number one lie that he wants to tell us as women is that we don't have time to spend with Jesus. Now look, I know life is busy, but I've been walking with Jesus long enough to know, and you probably have too, that that is just a lie. That we spend time doing the things that are important, that time with Jesus is always worth carving out. The thing that gets to me is more subtle. It's the sneaky, cheap side of Satan. He tries to steal my time during quiet time. So today, I'm coming to you from the floor of my living room, which might seem like a strange place, to share with you just a simple, easy-peasy organizational tool that can help us protect our time with Jesus from that sneaky, cheap Satan. And it's my quiet time basket. It's this simple basket that I have beside the chair that I spend most mornings in. I'm seeking Jesus, reading his word, praying. And what I do is in my basket, I have everything that I need for that time. So you might wonder what's in there. And you can see it's kind of chock full of a lot of stuff right now. But the main thing, of course, that's in there is my Bible. The, the source of all my hope and what I know about God, that's my number one thing in there. I actually have several translations in there because I one of my favorite things to do, I've got this little one that I can carry easily and it's another translation and just a, a paperback of the message. I love to lay out different translations beside each other so I can study them. Sometimes a different way of reading it opens up my heart. I have a legal pad, which I'm sick about these. I'm, uh, just, I am, I love a legal pad beyond distraction. And so I have that there to take notes in. I have my little handy dandy notebook that earlier this year I shared with you. I'm doing a word study of the word believe this year. And so I've got this page covered and this page waiting for my next time to study. I've got a book in here that I'm reading during my quiet time right now and loving learning about the Jewishness of Jesus. And then I just have some really basic, simple tools. I've got a container that contains multiple pens because you know that the minute God whispers something profound in your heart that you want to write down, your pen will run out. So make sure there are multiple ones in there. I've got a highlighter to mark important things. And then just because I'm an office supply geek, I have some of these little tabs that you can also mark uh, important things or quotes that you want to remember in your Bible, in your book that you're reading, all kinds of places. So, you know, I got this one at a local retail store and I love it, but I'm also a big thrift store shopper. So, if you've got a budget that's a little limited right now, I encourage you to go do some thrift store shopping because you can find a great basket there for very, very little money. So here's your one takeaway for the day is to create a quiet time basket beside the place where you usually spend time with Jesus so that sneaky cheat Satan doesn't steal any of your time, your precious time that you've carved out with God.